Okay, that made me do the something underfoot dance. Good morning, everybody. So today we are heading out Humpback Gap, I believe, down to Rockfish Gap, which is just a short section, but um, there's hurricane coming in tonight. And I kind of want to, oh, maybe I should stand still. I kind of want to be off the trail. So um, we're just gonna do that short section down to Rockfish Gap. I'm gonna head into Waynesboro and stay at a hostel for a day, right out the storm. And uh, it rained last night really heavy. I'm in loud thunder and lightning and everything, and the trail's pretty sopped. So we'll see if it causes any issues today. I suppose there'll be slippery rocks, which I'm gonna be kind of careful of. But if you want to come along, let's take a walk. Okay, that made me do the something underfoot dance. It's a copper head. Interesting, his head looks copper. <laughs> you don't look very happy, guy, that you're right in the middle of my trail. But what are we gonna do here, guy? I need to go forward. You need to go one way or another. Go back or go across the trail. Come on. Okay. I went up and around. The problem was that's a lost hole or a bee hole. So little guy, you're in the wrong spot. I don't want to be gross, but that's a sure sign that there's bears in the area. And that's not uh, from yesterday because it would have got rained on. So, eyes open. I'm going to get a video of this real quick and get out of here because the bees are going to get me. I've seen a bunch of those. They're the holes, the, the, the bees have holes in the ground where they have their nest and everything. And several of them have been torn up like that. And I'm sure it's the bears getting in there and getting the honey because you can see the honeycombs were strewn out on the ground. And I've seen that different places and couldn't quite figure out what was going on, but I'm sure that the bears are eating the honey. I almost walked right by. This is the Paul C. Wolf Shelter. And it's right by that creek crossing. This one's a double decker. It has a window. It has a second level where people can sleep and a full bottom. And this one's different because it has a front porch and a picnic table. And the picnic table is essential because you want to make sure that there's lots of bears and mice coming into the shelter. And here is the bear hanger. So you can loop your rope around that and pull your food up so the bears don't get to it.
So most of these graves are just rocks. But one had something scrawled in it that you couldn't read a name or anything. I think it's kind of interesting to stop and look at these places because and this was a family plot, obviously, and I'm sure they owned all this land at one point and sold it off to the Park Service. Not knowing that their graves would be visited by thousands of people every year. I really love to see these old cabins up in the woods because these are where people lived before the land was all sold to the Park Service. And kind of cool that this one, they actually have the name of who owned it. I might have to look it up. One more thing I'm gonna look for. I'll bet that there's a spring right near here and probably a road to get up here too. There is a spring. Checking out the hurricane. <laughs> 